Welcome. In a previous video, I installed Mac ports on an Intel Mac running Big Sur. In this video, I'm going to attempt to install Mac ports on a Mac Mini with Apple Silicon M1 chip. So I'll put a link in the description to my Apple playlist where you can find that previous video. So the first thing you need to do is install Xcode. So I'll go down to my App Store in the dock. If it's not in the dock, you can go to your Applications folder and find it. I'll go to Search here and I'll type in Xcode. I'll hit Enter. I'll see Xcode here. I've downloaded it previously, so I have the little cloud download icon, but otherwise you would have get. So I'll click this. Normally it would ask for my password, but I just installed something recently, so I don't think it's going to do that. If it does ask for your password, enter your password in, and if you have two-factor authentication turned on, then you'll need to enter in your two-factor authentication code. So this will take a little while to download, so I'm going to cut the video here and I'll come back after it's done downloading. Okay, that finished installing. That took quite a while. So I can close down the App Store now. And next I want to open the terminal. So to do that, you can go to your hard drive, applications, go to your utilities folder, double click on terminal, and that will open the terminal. Another way to do it is to type command space and just type in terminal. So in here I want to type in Xcode dash select space dash dash install. I'll hit enter. It'll ask if I want to install the command line tools. I'll hit install. I'll agree to the terms. And now it will download and install. Now this says two hours, 55 minutes. Usually it takes way less time than that. So while that's downloading, I'll download MacPorts from the MacPorts website. So in order to download MacPorts, you go to macports.org, then click on installing MacPorts, and then find your OS. I'm on Mac OS Big Sur. I'll click on that. It will download. I'll say allow. Okay, that has finished downloading, so I'll close this. This says it has 51 seconds remaining. Okay, that has finished. I'll hit done. I'll clear my screen here. Next, you'll want to type in sudo space xcode build space dash license. Then you'll type in your password. If you're like me, you'll type it in a couple times before you get it right. So I'll hit enter to view the agreement. I'll hit space to get to the bottom. Okay, now I'll type agree. I'll hit enter, and that's finished. So we can close this now. I'll open up my finder. I'll go to my downloads folder. I'll open up the MacPorts package. It says to install MacPorts, you need to install Rosetta. Do you want to install it now? I'll say yes, I want to install it. I'll type my password. It's installed, I'll hit done. Or it did it on its own, I guess. Okay, so now mostly I'm just hitting continue through this. So I'll hit continue, 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 agree, install. I'll type in my password. Okay, that has completed, so I'll hit close. I'll say move to trash. I'll close this. I'll go back to my terminal now, and I'll type in sudo space port space self update. I'll hit enter. Now I'll enter my password, and this will update Mac ports. So I don't really know if this is running as Intel under Rosetta right now, or if it's running on the Apple Silicon natively. I'll press command space and I'll open up the activity monitor. I'll click on the CPU tab and now I'll run the next command. I'll say sudo space app space upgrade space outdated. I don't think this will actually take very long, so I don't know that I have much time. So it looks like we got an error there. It says operation could not be completed, unable to locate a Java runtime. Please visit java.com for information on installing Java. So it doesn't look like this is going to work right now. I'll try and install this Fortune software. Okay, that's interesting. <laughs> so it looks like it was able to install software but not update software. That looks like it worked this time. That's interesting. I'll try something else. I'll install FFmpeg. So it looks like that did not install. I'll try something else. There's not one called Banner. I'll try Image Magic. Okay, so it's asking if I want to install all of these dependencies. I'll hit yes to continue. So looking at the activity monitor, it says architecture Apple. So maybe that means it's running 
natively. Okay, that completed. Let me try and type convert. That didn't work. Identify. That didn't work. Clear this out here. I'll type cd space forward slash opt forward slash local forward slash bin. Looks like it's not in here. Is fortune in here? Fortune's in here. I'll try to install JPEG Optim. So I'll type sudo space port space install space JPEG Optim. I'll try and run that now. That did run, so I haven't given it a JPEG, so it's just erroring out, but it's installed. So it looks like there's partial success here. I wasn't able to install FFmpeg, but I can install some other packages. So I'm guessing as time goes on, as things get updated, this will have more support for Apple Silicon. I'm not completely sure how these are running. Let me type which JPEG optim. Now I'll type open space forward slash opt forward slash local forward slash bin. I'll look for JPEG Optum here. Let's see if this tells us how it's compiled. It doesn't really say here, it just says that it's executable. I'm guessing this was compiling it for ARM though, so I think it's probably running natively. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. I may make another video on this as I learn more about it. But in the meantime, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.